Scorpios, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your mid-month reading for February 2021. Someone rising to Venus sign. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Okay. Thank you all for coming to watch your reading. If this reading resonates with you, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again. All of my returning subscribers, hello. Thank you for coming back to watch your reading and supporting me in this channel. Leo, let's go in. We're going to take a look at past, present, and future energy between you and your person. We're going to start with you. Okay, past energy. You have the King of Wands that's showing up here. King of Wands. You have the Page of Pentacles here in reverse. And you have the... Um, eight of swords okay <laughs> all right so i feel like in the past here this pe this page of pentacles in reverse is actually someone that's what i'm feeling here okay someone that was lacking in commitment probably kept you guessing here with the eight of swords um or this person uh just brought a lot of confusion to the relationship and the connection because they did not tell you um exactly where you stood with them that's what i'm feeling here okay you guys could have been dealing with a uh earth sign taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sagittarius uh with the king of wands energy but i feel like you definitely uh some of you guys saw something in this person or saw potential in them and that's why you stuck around so long uh possibly they were trying to work on themselves here but fell short on committing in a relationship here with you okay um we're going to take a look at your person's energy oh before we do that okay i want to let you guys know that this uh Whoever we're talking about here, this could be a friend, family uh, member, co-worker, okay, past lover uh, energy that I'm picking up here. So, however it applies to you, let's go ahead and get a message from your person or find out what was going on with them. What was this lack of commitment here um, towards you, Leo? here for Leo's person. Feels like your person was just very unable to focus on a relationship or unwilling here. There was some distraction going on because if you look at this, the Page of Pentacles and the King of Wands, I'm just staring at your cards here. The King of Wands is looking outward from this page, from this offer here, not really communicating with you, not letting you know where you stand with them. You're kind of like feeling stuck in this position to make your own mind up here. That's what it feels like. So what is this? What's going on? What was this lack of? of commitment towards Leo here there we go you guys unavailable I just wanted to live an adventurous life just like this king of wands Taurus Virgo not Taurus Aries Leo Sagittarius energy um I just want to I just wanted to live an adventurous life and focus on being independent my freedom is more important than finding love that's what this person is saying Okay. If only they would just say it and we didn't have to resort to watching tarot to get the answer. I want to give it to you today, Leo. Okay. Differences. I felt our relationship was too toxic to continue. I had to just disappear here. So some of you guys got ghosted by someone, not even an explanation. They just wanted to be free here king of wands differences i felt like we wouldn't let i felt like you wouldn't let me end the relationship so i ghosted you instead good. didn't we just say that okay so someone was definitely feeling that way let's get more of their inner <clears throat> energy here in the past energy is kind of going crazy right now <laughs> for some
some reason it feels like your person just doesn't sit still okay they don't st sit still they like to go and be everywhere and do everything your person may have a lot of friends or a lot of people around them a lot of associates okay that they um associate with basically it may be someone else in their life they're interested in as well with the queen of cups you have the nine of wands coming in the reverse position and you have the hangman that's coming in the reverse position as well so i definitely feel it i feel i feel here there was some unwillingness to change here in the past and they just wanted to be free basically that's what um this person is saying that they did not want to commit um and that with the nine of wands here in reverse it feels like there was some anxiety even going into a relationship because they weren't prepared to settle down um yeah like someone was just afraid to love you here let's see what this queen of cups energy is for your person in the past here if you guys are interested i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> i love you let's see what's going on with your person here Queen of Cups. Why is Queen of Cups? I said one, sorry. Queen of Cups energy. Honestly, I forgot to respond. Nothing personal. Ooh, feels like this is either your energy or someone else. This may be yours since we're clarifying it here. There's some confession or um acknowledgement here of how much you gave to them uh, i feel like they know that you are very kind-hearted and sweet and gentle in this connection in this relationship they're saying differences honestly i forgot to respond nothing personal but i feel you were a little more invested than me that is your energy and you may have been loving them too much when they definitely wasn't available to give back that energy, give back that, um, reciprocate your feelings here. What's the overall energy here for Leo? Ooh, the moon card. Okay. Definitely things coming to light. You guys may know this already. Um, yeah. That this person may have been fearful of moving into a connection. Uh, there's this need for you to continue to connect with your higher self because it leads you out of this, uh, out of confusing situations and <laughs> away from, um, it feels almost like you're dodging a bullet for some reason, okay? Like you dodged some bullet here and some connection where you may have had a lot of uh too many ups and downs unnecessary ones that you may have been sacrificing yourself needlessly here okay your current energy here leo is to move forward with the magician card here and know your own power and seek new beginnings for yourself because some of you guys may not be doing this or allowing yourself to move on uh with the ace of pentacles here in reverse um Spirit is saying that it's important for you to focus um, and redirect your attention, okay, right now at this moment in regards to your own power, power here, okay? Stand in your power, basically. Don't let this situation uh, take you out of your element, um, change you up, um, play with your mind, <laughs> Okay, with the Eight of Swords and this Magician card here, don't let the situation play with your mind here. Redirect your focus and start focusing on uh, your own life and yourself here, okay? What you want in the future here. So your person has the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Ooh, in reverse. Okay, that's King of Pentacles in reverse is not really good, okay? In the current energy, your person is... Um, cheating they're a cheater i'm just gonna have to put it out there like that they may be uh just connecting with other people like the queen of cups here that i keep talking about here leo feels like your energy but they may be um preying on other people as well on their uh kindness and um yeah preying on them when they're vulnerable 
um, or ready to love, okay? Because the King of Pentacles in reverse is like a no-go. This person is not honest. And this is the energy that's coming out for them. Um, I see a lot of sensuality, like sexual energy here as well with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles here in reverse. They may be just seeking partners for sexual pleasure. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And not really opening up their emotions to them, not getting to know them, just uh, your person's getting what they want, enjoying um, getting what they want, but not giving a lot, okay? Not giving in return, giving anything in return uh, to anyone here. Let's look at the overall energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. You have the nine of cups that's coming in here. Focus on your own happiness. That's what I feel like spirit is saying. Um, you will experience genuine relationships, okay? Once you release yourself and allow yourself to do this um, and redirect your focus towards healthier relationships, okay? But I feel like it definitely starts with you, though. You have to get your mind in a healthier place, especially with the Eight of Swords energy. I know this is the past, but um, when this card comes out, it's a clear message that you need to free yourself mentally from some connection. Some of you guys may take a trip down memory lane or this person's name is mentioned and you can't stand it. You're about to vomit. <laughs> Somebody just said that, okay? Um yeah just yeah <laughs> put some put some distance between you and whoever this person is whether you have to block them on social media or disconnect from mutual friends for a while okay to get yourself in order here let's see here um what this person wants to say to you leo we're going to, we're going to get some messages from this person person want to say to Leo now to the end of well period <laughs> not until the end of February but period what does this person want to say I know I was a distraction for your pain that may be vice versa there okay you may have been a distraction for their pain okay you and I were too young here. Let's clarify this and get a few more messages from this person. See what they're talking about. I know I was a distraction for your pain here. They may have found you in a very um, vulnerable at a very vulnerable state in your life, okay? Or found you in a position in your life when you were ready to open up towards love, okay? And they stepped in as a potential but couldn't live up to it here, okay? Yeah, that's basically what it is. They have the king of swords coming in the reverse position. Some mental instability with the swords that's coming out here. The knight of cups is coming in the reverse position. So a lot of games, um, possibly a lot of misunderstanding and love and communication. I feel like this person have has very little experience in having a true relationship here, okay? Um, and you may have had multiple conversations with this individual but they weren't grasping <laughs> grasping on to the concept of what love should be what it should look like how they should love you how they should respect you okay and take care of the relationship and how much it it is a blessing to have someone in their life that cares about them i feel like you were trying to turn the negative into positives here but this person may not have understood may have had a a hard upbringing or difficult upbringing as a child and could not display those same affections towards you okay that's what i'm seeing here this part may or may not resonate with you we're just going to pick up on your energy here and your feelings here Leo. okay okay I want you. That's what's coming out here. You may have wanted them to want you. Some of you guys are ready. Well, 
you may have difficulties moving on. I'm seeing this. And that's why you have the Magician card and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. Because it is time for you to open up to new opportunities. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and let something go here. Yes. Three of Pentacles are like make new friends. Make new uh, connections here. Step into your own here, okay? And show your true self shine, your light bright here. Because I feel like you're you're kind of dimming it right now, not wanting to be, be seen here. But you want good things in your life, but you may be just not uh, open as open as you were here due to some connection, okay? <clears throat> that you were dealing with on the card here. All right, so the justice card is coming in. They're like, no worries, Leo. Karma will be served. Balance will uh, come back towards you here as well. And new love with the two of cups coming in here. So, I, I <clears throat> look, <laughs> I see that there is possibility of a new relationship here. Okay, but there's definitely a need for... Uh, for you to give your yourself a chance to be seen by a new partner um, here. So they want you to get around other people that are like-minded, okay? And connect with people that are much different than this individual over here, okay? I feel like there was a lesson to be learned here uh, with the Justice card that is coming out. Um, and this is your chance for a new beginning, okay? This is your chance to just move forward and do something positive, for yourself okay put out positive energy as well okay because i know you want to be happy the overall energy is a nine of cups here you want blessings to flow in towards you but you may be blocking them a little bit because you haven't released someone mentally physically some of you guys or energetically you still have a soul tie with this person so cleanse your house cleanse your space Cleanse your contact list, <laughs> basically, okay? Because as above, so below. And if you are still thinking about this individual or you're still bitter about uh, what someone did to you, okay? You draw that energy towards you even more. So you want to just take, take in a, a new perspective on truly what you want here. Connect with your higher self as well with the moon card that comes in here it sometimes uh not sometimes it talks about your your intuition and you connecting with it okay some of you guys have um abilities psychic abilities <laughs> okay um and you need to tap it in, tap into those gifts here okay um so that you can yeah see the red flags when they're in front of you basically that's what i'm seeing the moon card can mean red flags in the reverse position. You're not seeing those red flags. Thus, you keep bumping into people like this or accepting people in your life like this, okay? All right. For some reason, they're saying take a gentle approach towards your new beginning here, okay? But continue, continue to move forward. Let's see what your future energy is going to look like. We're going to use these little cute dice here, Leo. Little Lenormand dice. Actually, I don't want all these. We're just going to pick two because that'll give me <laughs> too much information. We just want to know what the future energy looks like here for Leo Spirit. Whew. Okay. Oh my goodness. For some reason, I was getting, when I picked up the dice here, it was saying messages of restoration, okay? So still pay attention to the red flags, and that's why this moon card is coming out. Like, someone may come back to try to trick you again, <laughs> okay? Come back and try to be in your life. But there's this need for you to bring in a final ending, ending to a situation. You have the cross, and you have the birds let me focus that the birds that's coming in here talking about messages and the cross is about you bringing it into a situation here or needing to do this there's this need for a rebirth of self as well uh when this cross comes out all right 
What is the future energy here for Leo's person? Ooh okay. Like I said, they will definitely try to prey on someone else that they feel will give them the opportunity to, to do so. There's new love here for your person. Focus. New love and a boat. So I'm not sure if this person is traveling to go see this. Uh, someone new or someone that they are interested in lives in another state, another county, okay? But I see love here and them being interested definitely in someone else. If they try to come back and tell you otherwise, that's why you need to see the red flags. Moon card in reverse here. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get some messages here for you, Leo. are here for Leo February 2021 now to end of February what would you like Leo to know okay trust the universe here okay you have Sometimes we can strive relentlessly to make something happen and then experience huge disappointment when our efforts do not work out. Whilst action on our part is required, if we were too determined to stay on one course only, we inadvertently block ourselves from the guidance. Like I said, you're blocking your own blessings here, okay? Or from the guidance as well. That's why I'm telling you to connect with your higher self so that your ancestors, your uh, spirit team can support you, okay? To move past some situations, past some person, okay? Because um, I feel like, yeah, lessons were learned and you can dust yourself off from whoever this is, okay? And bring in the new you. Start connecting with new people, form new relationships. Love may even be a part of whoever you're meeting, okay? That's new. They're saying this is a time to trust and let things happen at this moment, okay? Let's get one more message for you here because I feel like doing that. Trust the universe. So you got the number 59 on that card. Nine plus five, it'll give us 14. Four plus one. <laughs> Uh, that will give us five again, okay? So focus on change. If I'm counting that up right, focus on change, okay? And Spirit is saying here, and we got five again, three plus two, five, okay? Let go gracefully here, Leo. Some Something in your life is calling for you to let it go. Let go gracefully. Whatever has taken place in the past, it is time to move forward and let go. Letting go uh, will make way for the new. Yes, new connections, new relationships. Yes. Um, whether this is a person, a situation, an outdated thought or behavior pattern, this car comes to assure you that new horizon, horizons are awaiting you here. All right, oh, well, still a really good reading pack with a lot of information for you here, Leo, okay? So I hope this finds you well, okay? I hope you guys uh, resonate with this new beginning that I'm seeing here for you. Uh, take care of yourself, okay? Make sure you meditate and take care of yourself. Self-care, self-love. Uh, like the video, you guys, okay? This is your reading. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bells, love, all right? I will see you in the next reading. Take care, Leo. Bye.